Scientists use fossil evidence to support their theory of plate tectonics. Now you may have noticed at some point that the coast of South America and Africa along the Atlantic Ocean seem like they line up, like if you put them together, they would fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. Well, scientists, they noticed that too. But they also noticed that on both sides of the ocean, there were fossils that were, weren't found anywhere else in the world except for along these two coasts. And they did a bunch of mapping, and they realized when they put these maps together, the fossils lined up along the two coasts. And this, this convinced them that at one point, the continents were together. And in fact, all of the continents were together in a huge continent named Pangaea. And over time, divergent boundaries formed. And these continents were pulled apart. Now, I'm going to demonstrate for you today what that might have looked like. So here we have our continent. Here's South America and Africa. And they're still together. They're still in Pangaea. So these happy little animals lived all over. These little green guys, these are our animals. They lived all over the continent. And when they died, they were deposited in a sedimentary layer on top of these two continents, just like that. You can see their fossils are kind of scattered all over, right? So then a divergent boundary came and started pulling it apart. And it pulled and pulled and pulled and pulled and pulled until the crust in the middle started to weaken. See, it's, it's thinner there, right? And it kept pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling until the two continents split and an ocean formed between the two. So now you have South America and Africa. And you can see on my green lines that if you were able to take these, these continents and line them back up together, you can see that the fossils still fit together. Isn't that neat? 